so new outfit everything i'm just gonna show you guys how i decided to actually do them so let me go get some scissors i can't find my scissors i'm just gonna cut with these big nail clippers so it's so easy to separate your braid from your crochet hair and just cut it it'll be so much easier if i had scissors and actually i can pull it out and just and I don't cut your nails. Okay. And it just slides right off. And then take that part off. It's so cute. Okay, well, we're gonna make another one. This is how I found to do it. This is my hair, just braid it. I used this True Edge Controller. It works really well. They have like 10 different smells. I was about to say flavors. But I got pineapple because I love the smell of pineapple. They also had peach, but peach was actually sold out. So I guess a lot of people like the peach one. They had like cherry and coconut. So you take one. Excuse me. You take two crochet hairs. After you split it in half. You're going to make sure it's in half. <laughs> okay, after you split it in half, it should look like this. I have to go find my crochet hook and I found my scissors. So, after you put the two strands together and divide them in half like this, you are going to take your crochet hook. Now, you want to slide it the way that you want your hair to fall. So I want my hair to fall this way. I'm going to hook it this way. Just hook your hair on there, close it. And pull it through. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this out of here. Add my hair to the long side and loop them both through. So grab them both, pull them through, and then you can tighten up. The crochet here but when your hair is down this is what you see you don't see a gap or the black part now after you have pulled it through you actually I'm gonna skip this step want to make it fluffy so you see how it's perfect you don't want that so you want to just take a brush, kind of fluff it out, do the ends, do both sides. You want to make sure you try to cover your hair so it's not showing. Me personally, I'm not pressed about it, but okay, wait a second. <sighs> right when I get on camera, you don't want to do this. So. I'm gonna wrap backwards, okay? And if it gets perfect again, you can always just fluff it out because you want it to be a little nappy, you know. Okay, so see how I was able to hide my hair? You just want to wrap it the way that it's going to hide your hair. See, I took a lot out that time. Just use your thumb and you can wrap, wrap. See, so easy. Well, after you've done it for a while, it's easy. So. Just wrap. 
you can always add hair on top. You see how this hair is short? It's like perfect because I don't have to loop it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I loop it in one of these. This is just the regular wrap. If your hair is short enough on that side, see I'm getting to the ends. I'm just gonna keep wrapping. And you can be like not perfect at the end because that's what you want. You want it a little messy. Well, that's what I want. Okay, now you're literally just going to whoop, and see how I have some curls left out. I'm just gonna leave those out. And you just start wrapping back up and you can wrap the other one. Oh no, this is the same way. I'm wrapping backwards still. But you wanna make sure it's tight, so tightly wrap it at first. It's still gonna have that messy look, but you're going to have a secure wrap because you don't want it to be super chunky on the ends. Keep using your thumb to pull pieces out if you want it a little messier. I wanted it extra messy. And you just keep wrapping until you get to the top. And you wrap and you wrap. And now, start wrapping back down, right? And this can be staggered. So I'm wrapping back down and I'm coming to the end of my hair. This is what I do. No glue, no nothing. Just do that. Boom. Cute. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna show you this one. Because this hair is long and I'm pretty sure I had to double it. Now you see how this one is like extra long. I don't want them this long. Oh, sorry. I don't want them, like it might not seem long, but it is when I start wrapping. I didn't know this, but they have like teeny tiny ones. So this is a normal one. This is a teeny tiny one. So I was like happy when I found it because I was pushing this one through my braids and it was kind of messing it up. So what you want to do is just push it through, you know, at the top somewhere. Put the end of your hair through, close it, pull it through. And there you go. Now let's have, and to secure it, I kind of put a little bit of gel, edge control. Okay, I'm taking this hair. I'm gonna wrap it backwards. Back. Just so, see, you can't see my braid underneath. So I'm gonna wrap it like that. Wrap it kind of tight at first, and then you can start your design. And even if you don't cover all of it, when you go back up, it will cover it. So let's compare it to this one. I want it to be about the same length, so I'm gonna keep wrapping until it gets further down. And you can usually just keep going until this little hair runs out. But if you want them to be the same length, you can always just measure. Okay, that's about the same. I'll do two more wraps. I'm gonna wrap it up. Just tightly, tight, tight, tight. And then you can do loose and add some more designs because I didn't really put any at first. Keep wrapping. 
wrapping. Sometimes you don't make it back to the top, so see what I'm doing here. So you're going to want to wrap it tight so it does not come undone. I think I said this already, but you can always, always add hair on top. So, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. And if you don't mind a little bit, black showing then you'll be good okay so I made it here when you have the free tress hair and you separate the little pieces they're even every time there's nothing messes up it's perfect so definitely recommend do not recommend this was my last option because I needed one more pack and I wanted it to be 18 inch yeah 18 inches and this is all they had and it comes with a lot more so it comes with two do not get this do not get this get seven packs of the free trust do not get this if you get this you're gonna have an attitude because that's what happened to me. <laughs> the back was really hard to do. Honestly, don't know how it looks back there. I could probably <clears throat> add some more on top if there's black showing, but I can't see the back. I like how it looks from the sides and the front. So this is actually like my favorite hairstyle. This is my favorite color to use. And I'm so excited and happy about how these came out thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye